Yeah, I have everything I need. Yeah, really. You don't need to worry about me so much. Hey, thanks again for letting me crash at your place at such short notice. Something like that certainly isn't a given. Are you really sure you want me to take the bed? I'd be perfectly fine sleeping on the couch. Really? And you don't, by any chance, only say that to make me feel guilty in order to get me out of your flat again as quickly as possible? <laughs> hey, I'm just teasing you. Relax. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Good night. Hey, you still awake? Well, you see, I just got kind of lonely over here. And, well, I think the bed's actually big enough for the both of us. So, why don't you come over? It might get a bit cramped, but it'll be fine if we just cuddle up a bit. No, I mean it. I'm kind of cold all alone. Ugh, can't you just come over and warm me up? Please? I'd really appreciate it. Come on. You wouldn't want me to be lonely all night, would you? Huh? Why am I doing this? Well, why do you think? Hey, wow, yeah, you let me stay at your place, and that was super nice of you. Yeah, you even offered me your bed. What? No, I'm not- Hey, are you getting angry with me? <sighs> this was not how I intended for this to- what do you mean, why am I doing this to you? Okay, you are somehow getting this completely wrong. Oh, but I think you are. Okay, listen to me. How about we play a little game? It's called Just Tell the Fucking Truth. The rules are quite simple. We take turns asking questions, and the other one just tells the fucking truth. How's that sound? Great. I'll let you start. <sighs> well, I'm doing this because I want to fuck you, okay? I've wanted to fuck you for like a fucking year now, but you are so damn shy and awkward, I really didn't know what to do anymore. And so I told myself, this is your last attempt. You stay over at his place, and you make a move on him. You either win this time, or you go down fighting. And, well, here we are. Somehow, my brilliant plan went belly up. All right, my turn to ask a question. What did you think I was doing? <laughs> Sorry, what? Why the hell would I be making fun of you? Hey, don't say that. Of course I would want... Stop it. I want to do it because you're cute and... You're kind and smart, and because I get butterflies whenever I'm around you? No, you're not. Okay, that's it. If you don't believe me, then here. I'm not doing this to make fun of you. It's fine.
fine. It's all right. You're making a fuss like this was your first... Oh, my God. Hey, no, no, no. It's, it's fine. Stay here. It's fine. Hey, come on. Please don't run away now. Look at me. Wait, just let me ask another question. So, have you ever thought about fucking, I mean, sleeping with me? You never fantasized about me? <laughs> Come on, look at me. Do you not find me attractive? <laughs> no, you don't need to go anywhere. Don't even try to come up with an excuse. We're still playing, and you know the rules. So, I believe I just asked you a question. Do you, or do you not, find me attractive? Aww, really? <laughs> what about me do you find attractive? Come on, girls love compliments. Give me some details here. Okay, good answer. A bit of a cliche, but good answer. What about my eyes do you find attractive? <laughs> Come on. By now I'm not just fishing for compliments. I'm deep sea trawling for them. Flatter me a little. Ooh, who would have thought you could be such a flirt? <laughs> Hey, come on. No, don't hide your face. I'm just teasing you. You all right? Okay, then. Come with me to the bed. Oh, no. Not this again. I thought we had this sorted out. I told you I want to do this. You told me you want to do this. We're both grown-ups, so what's the matter? What are you so nervous about? You don't know what to do? Oh, don't you worry. I do. And if you really don't know what to do, I think I'll be fine with you just leaning back and leaving the doing to me for tonight. Just don't let that become a habit, okay? Girls don't like lazy boys. Come on, not knowing what's going to happen is part of the fun. Okay, fine. You know what? Here's the deal. I will tell you whatever I'm going to do in advance, so there will be no surprises. On the downside, that means there will be no surprises. But hey, that one's on you. And if we should ever happen to do anything that you don't like... You simply say, stop, and we'll stop right there and pretend that it never happened. Nobody needs to be embarrassed of anything. Nobody needs to be disappointed or angry. We'll simply stop it and go back to the last thing that you still liked. How does that sound? Okay, great. But here's your part of the deal. You have to let us try first. You can't say stop until we've tried it at least once, okay? <laughs> Great. Oh, and one more thing. Be honest with yourself. As I said, we're both grown-ups, so if you actually like what we're doing, there's absolutely no reason to say stop, okay? So then, step one kissing. We've done that already. It's nothing scary. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're dying for a little more. <laughs> so come on then. Let me taste you again. <laughs> wow, 
Well, how was that? Oh, really? Because wouldn't you believe it? It could get even better if you worked with me here a little. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. But this time, why don't you try and use your tongue a little? It's pretty rude to let me do all the work. <laughs> Come on, just go with the flow. Remember, if you do anything I don't like, I can simply say stop, right? So then, let's try it again. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with your hands? Yeah, I know you're not touching me. That's kind of my point. You're twitching like you're afraid you might burn yourself on me. Don't worry. I mean, I know I'm hot, but I'm not, like, scalding hot. It's okay. You can touch me. Come on. I'm lying on top of you with my tongue in your mouth. I think it's safe to say that I want you to touch me. Well, wherever you want. Uh, my back? <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not actually where you would want to put your hands. Here, let me help you. Yeah, that's my butt. I've had it for all my life. It's not gonna fall off now just because you touch it. You can grab it a bit more firmly. Okay, then let me take off my top. It's my top. I can take it off whenever I want. You don't get to say stop to this. Plus, you have other things to worry about, because the next thing we're taking off is your shirt. Hey, we agreed that we would try everything out before you could say you don't like it, remember? What are you even making so much of a fuss over? It's not like I haven't seen you shirtless before, you know? And if I didn't like what I saw then, I most likely wouldn't be lying on top of you now in my favorite sexy bra trying to wrestle your shirt off you, don't you think? So put your goddamn arms over your head, unless you want me to rip this. See? Now was that so bad? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, I will now run my fingertips over your chest. Note to self, remember to tell him beforehand. <laughs> Sorry, but I was kind of captivated by the view. Yes, I was. <sighs> for the last time, I'm not making fun of you. What else am I supposed to do for you to get it? Okay, serious question, by the way, because I want to do it. Tell me all the weird things you want me to do for you to finally believe me that this is not the most elaborate, most shirtless hoax in the history of sleepovers, and I will not only do them, I will also give you better mice the whole time. Well, nothing? <laughs> all right then, let's continue where we left off. Okay, I'm gonna kiss you again, but this time, I'll merely start at your lips, and then work my way down along your jaw and your neck, all the way across your chest. You ready? <laughs> okay then, fasten your seatbelt, cause here we go. Don't you dare say stop now. Mm. 
<laughs> Does that tickle? Oh, come on. You like it. Don't deny it. <laughs> you're blushing so much, you're essentially glowing in the dark. Come on, sweetie. No need to hold back. If you like what we're doing, feel free to tell me. Seriously, why do guys always think they have to remain completely stoic and silent during, well, you know, this? Do they think we want to make out with lifeless robots? Come on, I want to see some reaction. It's kind of disheartening when I'm putting in all this effort and you just lie there and stare at the ceiling like a discarded store mannequin. So give me some feedback, will you? No, it's not embarrassing. It's cute. It's adorable. Come on. I want to hear you moan. I want your neighbors to know what we're doing. Well, okay. If this isn't enough to get some sounds out of you, maybe if I move one level further down, Ten Buck says I can unbutton your jeans with just my teeth. You like that idea, don't you? <laughs> Whoa, relax. Deep breaths, honey. It's okay, we can take it slowly. If we just cuddle for tonight, that's perfectly fine. Is it okay if I put my head on your chest for a moment? I just want to listen to your heartbeat for a while. Aw, you're warm. You could play with my hair if you want, you know. You don't even need to tell me in advance because I kind of like surprises. <laughs> yeah, like that. You're stroking my cheek? I love it. Keep going. So, where do we go from here? I'm feeling a little guilty for bowling you over like this. In my defense, I tried the easy way, but you didn't respond to that. I still feel guilty though. Are you okay? You don't actually hate this, right? That's why you keep stroking my cheek, huh? I could fall asleep like this. Would it be okay if I wrap my arms around you? What? No, it's fine. Really, I mean it. I promise. We don't need to rush anything. We have lots of time. Would it be okay if I stayed over tomorrow night as well? Just so we can see where this will get us. I still want to get my ten bucks for unbuttoning your jeans with my teeth after all. <laughs>